Hey guys, Bearford on Bricks here, and welcome back to another LEGO video. Today we have some news on some upcoming Star Wars sets, CMF Series 27, Disney, and the surprise return of an iconic family, and more. Just a reminder, if you enjoy the content, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. But let's kick things off with some Star Wars news, and three new sets coming our way next year. The first is a buildable chopper droid, or C-110P, also known as the Grumpy Droid. What can I say about Chopper, he's grumpy. Seen in Star Wars The Bad Batch, as well as Rebels and Ahsoka. The expected release date for the set will be sometime between March and May next year, and in terms of set size, I think it'll be similar to set 75379, the R2-D2 which was a 1050 piece set and currently retails for £90. Now it shouldn't be too much of a surprise to see the popular LEGO Star Wars helmets line continue. And rumour has it that we'll be adding the Django Fett helmet to the collection next year. And lastly for Star Wars, as I mentioned in a previous video, 2025 sees the launch of some buildable logos. The first logo I reported on was for Marvel, and apparently the Star Wars logo will be joining the lineup. The reported price was $100 for the Marvel logo, so I expect a similar price for the Star Wars. And on a side note, don't be surprised to see a buildable LEGO logo join this new line. Looking ahead to the CMF series launching in January, and we've got a complete list of the different minifigs. Starting off with a pterodactyl costume fan, a hamster costume fan, a Wolfpack Beastmaster, a Pirate Quartermaster, an Astronomer Kid, Steampunk Inventor, Jetpack Racer, Longboarder, a Boogeyman, Cat Lover, Plush Toy, and Cupid. I think it sounds like a nice mix, but what do you think? Now rounding off the video now with a couple of quick rumours regarding sets doing the rounds, courtesy of a cryptic note that was posted online by TNN Bricks. The note reportedly states that we could see sets from Beauty and the Beast, Lord of the Rings, Fantastic Four, Fast and Furious, and The Simpsons. Now my guess is a few movie tie-in sets for the Fantastic Four movie, which releases in July next year, such as a 4 plus set and a couple of dioramas, and possibly a Brickheads 4 pack. Regarding Lord of the Rings, and specifically Fellowship, then we could see the Shire as a big set, similar to Rivendell and Baradur. Great news for Technic fans, it sounds like you'll be getting a Toyota Supra in January. And speaking of The Simpsons, and the rumours are looking increasingly positive that we'll see a set under the LEGO Icons range, namely set number 10352, which has a price of $230. The rumoured set will be the Krusty Burger. Expect a bunch of minifigs to go along with the set as well. As I get more details on these rumours, I will of course update you. And then we finally move on to Disney, with news on a whole bunch of new sets launching in January. A Cinderella dress retailing for $40, based on the iconic 1950s film. A twin pack Cruella and Maleficent dresses, retailing for $70. A twirling aerial, similar to the twirling Rapunzel set 43214, retails for $10. A buildable Hi Hi for $20. The Mini Encanto House will be a micro build of set 43245, which is currently available and is expected to retail for $20. And then we have Arendelle Castle from Frozen, which will be a small set retailing for $30. And yet another Cinderella castle, but this time priced at $80, which is expected to have mini dolls included. And lastly we have the Lilo and Stitch house priced at $90, a recreation of Lilo's house and supposedly exclusive Lilo, Stitch and Nanny minifigures will be included. So there you have the latest leaks, news and rumours. What are you most looking forward to? Please do leave me a comment. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and most importantly, have fun. <laughs>